Greetings, my esteemed subscribers, and I do very much indeed mean esteemed because if you have clicked upon this video, it means that you are also concerned about the larger picture, about the welfare of Mother Nature. So, with that said, I have some blasphemous news from Japan. We can go to C Legacy's Twitter to see their statement. Japan is leaving the International Whaling Commission to resume full-scale commercial whaling in 2019. This is madness, a barbaric move that could set species recovery back decades. It's time for all of us to speak up and stop whale hunting for good. Hashtag save our whales. And I just thought to make this video to state that I do think this is a highly barbaric and unnecessary move, if anything. Now, in a recent video, I stated my reasons for um, wanting to take up hunting later this year. And uh, that is hunting that goes hand in hand with the wishes of Mother Nature. And to be clear, I don't have anything against animals dying. I don't have anything against killing animals. This is not purely about morals. This is about the ecosystem. So to take the example I gave in my previous video, I said the wild boar population in Sweden needs to be maintained by human hunters. If human hunters do not maintain the population of wild boar, there will be an overpopulation which will then have detrimental effects upon everything basically, especially other wild boar. Now when it comes to hunting whales, that is not in congruence with what is good for modern nature. There is no need to monitor the population. If anything, this will push them to become extinct. And if a certain species goes extinct, you can't regret yourself. You can't just say, oh, I'm sorry, this was silly. Uh, let me try to make amends. You can't do that because it's too late when it's too late. Simple as that. So this is not only about me thinking that, oh, these animals, these whales, they're so cute. I hope the Japanese won't be mean to them. This is about not disrupting the ocean's ecological system. Because if one species goes extinct, you don't know what repercussions that will have on the rest of the sea. We don't know what will happen if we disrupt one chain in the, um, in the system. Now, that being said, we can also look at some people who are actually fighting against these heretical whalers. So we're going to Sea Shepherd. And they have, as you can see, a whale defense campaign. And I'm going to read from it. In 2008, the Australian government sent their customs vessel the Oceanic Viking, highly glorious name by the way, to the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary to document the operations of the Japanese whaling fleet. What they saw has been hidden from the public eye until now. After five years, Sea Shepherd is finally able to release the shocking footage. And you can watch the video on their page, so I'll link this page I'm on right now in the first link in my description box. I definitely do suggest that you head over to their page look a bit about what you're doing, look at this uh, graphic video if you want to get some more arguments, I suppose, against whaling. And you can also donate some money to them if you want. And I say that because I think they're doing good work. I think that they are uh, absolutely on the right track in uh, taking measures to combat these uh, whalers. So anyway, I just wanted to shed some light upon this absolute madness by the Japanese. So anyway, thank you for watching. XOXO, boom.